Maryland's budget deficit has grown. Governor-elect Larry Hogan will now inherit a $767 million shortfall next fiscal year. Before leaving office, though, Governor O'Malley released suggestions on where Hogan could find some savings. 11 News ITN reporter David Collins joins us live in the studio with the details. New at 6. David. Well, Donna, the Hogan administration says they're not familiar with these suggestions. They're focused on what the governor actually did to reduce spending. So the biggest threat to us are those revenue write-downs. The state's budget deficit is growing bigger by the month. The initial $750 million has jumped to $766.9 million. Governor O'Malley cites low tax revenues by what he characterizes as an underperforming private sector, and he blames Congress. The sequester was, was not sort of a one-time cut that then got restored the next year. It came down and it stays down. And it's that along with the shutdowns and the constant threats of shutdown sends ripples throughout our economy. On Friday, during his final press conference as governor, O'Malley came up with a list of additional budget-cutting measures. We have uh, submitted uh, recommendations to the incoming uh, governor. The document suggests where to find an additional $640 million in budget cuts. These include $235.5 million in savings from a 4% cut in state agency funding. $50 million in savings will come from repealing the repayment to open space. Governor Ehrlich siphoned $400 million out of the program over four years. The state is still replenishing it. O'Malley projects $25 million in savings by delaying the new estate tax. $30 million gained by early retirement. He proposes slashing another $10 million from the higher education budget. He's recommending a 20% reduction in stem cell research, a 20% reduction in the Sustainable Communities Tax Credit, and cutting $3.5 million from the Cyber Security Tax Credit. So hopefully by March, uh, I hope that we see some better revenue uh, estimates, and uh, that should help with the, with the budget for next year as well. The governor-elect says he will release details of his budget 24 hours after being sworn in Wednesday. The following week, if he wishes, he'll have his first opportunity to make additional budget cuts, just like Governor O'Malley has done through the Board of Public Works. David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.